Hello everyone. Happy New Year. I'm just going to get my my little technology stuff going here so I can make sure I'm in the right place. <clears throat> I am Leslie Benson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I go by the moniker the Plaid Poodle if you're new here. Thank you for joining me live. Um, if you're here, please say hello. I think I have the comments on and I can see. There I am. So we are where we're supposed to be. Um, I'm still getting over some respiratory stuff. I had a virus over Christmas. That was really wonderful. <laughs> Um, I took a couple weeks off to enjoy the holiday and my family and ended up being sick for both weeks and I'm still recovering. I'm doing much better. Um, but I hope you all had a great holiday, a great New Year's and um, um, are back in the swing of things. Let me turn my camera around. I have a couple of things I wanted to share while we wait for people to come on. I am new to the YouTube um, live stream, so a lot of people are used to catching me over on Facebook. So um, hopefully they're going to find me eventually. <laughs> um, tomorrow starts our new catalog, the new mini Stampin' Up! catalog and celebration. Celebration is during the months of January and February and there are fun little um, products in this brochure I can't show you today that's the rules that Stampin' Up! gives us um, whoops sorry about that I do that all the time I just want to put my little face here <laughs> my little face here in the corner there we go um, but tomorrow I can start showing you the catalog and if I, if I have time, I'm taking my mother to a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but if I have time, maybe I will come on tomorrow evening and we can go through the catalog and look at all the fun things <clears throat> because, uh, starting tomorrow, I can show you the inside of the catalog. Um, if you do not have a catalog, <clears throat> let me know and I can get one out to you. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to, to be your demonstrator and help you with all your paper crafting needs. I did want to mention one thing and I am going to show you the back of the catalog and hope I don't get uh, fired <laughs> for doing so. But beginning tomorrow, you can join Stampin' Up! and they have an excellent, excellent um, joining offer for $129, you can choose $175 worth of product and choose either the new um, exclusive and for limited time only Boho Blue Mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine or you can get the white Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine which looks like this. So, or you can just um, join for $99 and receive your choice of $175 worth of any active, active Stampin' Up! product and not get the machine. If you already have a machine and you're not interested in that, you can still um, take advantage of that extra <clears throat> $75 in free product. So I would love to have you on my team. Um, you don't have to do what I do. You can just order products at a great discount. Um, there's many ways to join Stampin' Up! So I would love to talk, chat with you about that. If you want to contact me, that would be awesome. Okay. Also, when you order from me, I like to send out a little thank you gift at the end of every month when you use the host code. And January host code is um, all of these funky little letters and the number nine. So when you place an order with me at leslie.stampinup.net, and then use the host code, um, I'll get a report and I can send you a gift um, thanking you for your order. Um, so that's that. I also have it listed up here in the corner of the screen. And I apologize, my voice is going. Okay, 
We are going to use some products from the new catalog that goes live tomorrow. Here is the card I shared to my VIP subscribers. Every Tuesday I send out a free tutorial and this is the card that they received yesterday. Um, if you would like to be on my VIP list, just go to um, theplaidpoodle.com and sign up for that or I will put a link um, in the comments below or in the description below and you can sign up to be a VIP member and every Tuesday you will receive a free um, project tutorial and this is the tutorial I shared yesterday. Just wanted to say happy Valentine's Day. And so I thought we'd do, you make another card today using the same products. Just wanted to say, I love that we are friends. Um, this is a fun card that you can recreate using any of the products that you have. You may not have what I have, um, but you have something similar. And um, it would be easy to recreate this card using products that you already have. So let's get started. <coughs> The card base measures eight and a half by five and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a fourth and folded it in half. That is an A2 card base. And that's what we're gonna start out with. Then I'm using some papers from the, um, these are the Country Floral Lane Designer Series paper. I'm using the side A and side B. You can go ahead and look at some of those papers. They are beautiful. And they're not necessarily Valentine's Day, although some of them are. The colors certainly work for um, this season of love. <laughs> I love this balmy blue. It's one of my favorite Stampin' Up! colors. Here's just a print that you could use for any occasion. The colors are Blushing Bride. Look at these bicycles. Aren't they adorable? With the little floral baskets in the front. I can't wait to use that paper. And the opposite side's a really nice stripe. I think that's all of them. This is a pretty color too. Bal Balmy Blue is one of my favorites. This is really really traditional um, Valentine Day that would be fun. So anyway, those are the papers I'm using. <clears throat> and I've cut a piece of five and a fourth by, I believe, uh, three. And then I've taken one inch by five and a fourth, and we're going to use that over here. So we're going to have the coordinating patterns, and then we're going to cover up that seam with some ribbon. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my um, multi-purpose liquid glue um, I like this adhesive just because it gives me a little wiggle room since I need to match up these edges um, that'll be helpful for me I'm leaving about a fourth of an inch um, on all sides because my card front measures five and a half by four and a fourth. I just watched this morning while I was getting ready um, a video over on Instagram um, with Sarah, our CEO, and she was showing some basics of um, paper crafting and she shared that her favorite adhesive is the multi-purpose liquid glue and that is my favorite adhesive too so that just made me feel pretty special that um, we both like the same adhesive <laughs> I love this adhesive um, okay so there we've got our front um, card front ready to go I'm gonna add the ribbon <clears throat> this is the Real Red and Burlap Ribbon Combo Pack. So you get two rolls of ribbon. I'm going to use the Real Red for this card. Now for this card, I used the um, Burlap Ribbon. I love the little stitching on that. And I'm sorry, I'm going to daub my nose. <laughs> I'm telling you, 
I have uh, not been this sick for this long in a long time. I, I don't think I'm sick. I'm actually finishing up some antibiotic. But I just think the the after effects of whatever I had. Um, actually, I think I already cut a piece of ribbon to go with this. I did. So my ribbon is going to be probably about five and... Um, a half. It needs to be five and a fourth, but we'll trim it. I'm just going to use it to cover up that seam. Now, if you don't have any coordinating ribbon for your paper, you could also use a little strip of designer series paper. That's another little uh, way to um, hide those seams. And just put a little uh, strip of paper. And it adds a little bit more pattern and dimension. Now I've just run a little um, stream of the multi-purpose liquid glue right along that that um, seam. And then I'm going to use my ribbon scissors and just trim that hopefully straight. We could have tucked that underneath, but I think this will be fine because we're going to kind of embellish our card front and it's going to um, look great. <laughs> okay, the next thing we're going to do, I used our uh, Stampin' Up! Stylish Shapes dies. Um, I used the second to the largest stitched circle die and I cut a circle out of some basic white um, cardstock. We're going to put that there and I'm going to put that on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. These are just little foam adhesive dots. I use these probably on most every project I do. I always like to add a little dimension. And I love the thickness of our Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay, I'm going to put that circle kind of in the lower left-hand corner of my card front. I'm going to leave all that pretty paper out to look at. And then I am going to show you a little trick. I love when Stampin' Up! does this. I'm going to use the Country Bouquet Punch. This comes as a bundle. You can buy them separately or purchase them separately, or you can save 10% when you purchase the stamp set and the coordinating punch together, um, which is always nice. And I always love a punch bundle. And then the paper, <clears throat> the punch matches this paper. Now, it will match this whole image here with the lower heart, but I want I don't want to waste any of this, so I I felt like my circle didn't really need that lower heart, so I am just going to punch out this image. See how nice that just fits right in there? I hate that this beautiful stripe is on the back because <laughs> I probably will punch out everything I can and um, save them and use them in projects and um, then I won't be able to use that beautiful stripe. I always love a good stripe. Okay, then I'm going to place the punches. Now if we wanted to, we could have stamped all of that. We could have stamped our leaves and our flower and um, punched it out, but I thought, why not use the paper? <laughs> um, and I'm just going to use one of these dimensionals. I'm popping my little, uh, little heart up with that, and then I'm going to also put some um, of my dimensional on the leaves, and I'm just going to use a little bit of the out, outer edge of my um, Stampin' Dimensional. You don't want to waste any of this foam, foam adhesive. You want to use all of it that you can. And 
And then I'm going to just put my little leaves right next to the heart. It's like a little floral heart. I think that's why they call it Country Bouquet. <laughs> the stamp set, Country Bouquet. Got a bouquet of hearts. And then I'll put that one over there. See how easy that was? Now, for my um, sentiment, excuse me again. I need to probably take an antihistamine, but I, have, I try and avoid um, drugs as much as I can. <clears throat> okay, I have cut a little sentiment tag out, and I used the Stylish Shapes dies again for that. I used this long um, sentiment banner tag. And let's see if I can stamp this. Great. I'm going to grab my, um, when I'm using my um, photopolymer stamps, I like to use my little um, paper piercing mat. It's just kind of a foam mat and it gives a little cushion. And a lot of it depends on what surface you have underneath. I'm going to try and do this. Um, normally I would stamp and then die cut, but I thought we could do this okay. And we did. That looks terrific. <laughs> <clears throat> now I'm going to stack that onto my um, card front like that. Now I've got two little layers. I've got dimensional under here and dimensional under here. So I'm going to have to use two dimensionals on my tag so that it will be the same um, height. So I'm just going to stack two right on top of each other. And then we're going to just kind of put that right there. We're going to add a bow here in a minute. And then we can also put just a dab of our um, multi-purpose liquid glue right there to hold that in place. I'm going to hold that just a minute until it catches. That's the one thing about the multi-purpose liquid glue. It takes just a second to take hold, but not too long. Okay, and then the final thing we're going to do on the outside of the card is add this little bow. And like I said, I used the red. I'm going to use this real red ribbon again. And I went ahead and cut, um, I went ahead and did the bow ahead of time. Um, because I'm kind of finicky about the bows and um, sometimes it takes me a minute with my my fat little fingers and I'm just taking a little um, mini glue dot they come in a roll and I'm gonna just put one right on the back of this bow and I just I'm gonna just put it right there I want that just wanted to say. I want my just to show up. <laughs> and then we can take our scissors now and trim the ends a little bit. That way it won't. Um, <clears throat> get all crushed in the envelope when we put it in an envelope. Okay, that is the front of the card. Now for the inside of the card, I took a piece of four by five and a fourth basic white. And again, I'm gonna use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink and put my sentiment. This is a really fun little friendship card. Have some friends that you would like to send a Valentine's Day card or even just just a thinking of you card. Um, I love that. I love that we are friends. And then I went ahead and there's a cute little um, stamped image. 
that matches my paper. So I took some Blushing Bright um, ink My dog is over making her a little place to take a nap. I hope you can't hear all that scratching. So it's this little image right here that I'm using. And I'm just going to put the little flower there just as an added little something something. All right, and then we can just adhere this to the inside of our card, and I'm going to go ahead and use my stamp and seal double-sided adhesive tape for this. And that is the card. So there's the card. And then here is one using similar products. Now, I did not use the Country um, Floral Lane Designer Series paper on this card. I used, um, which coordinates so well with the suite, I used the Country Gingham. I always love a good gingham. This will be fun for all your spring projects. There's just um, several pastel colored gingham um, Prints. And so I used that on this card. This is the Country Floral DSP. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the card. Please stay tuned for more. If you are local to me in Kansas City, I don't know if I have my card just hanging around here. Let's see here. Does anybody else have an office like mine that is just a mess. My plan was to work in my office during my time off over the holidays and it's probably over on my other desk. Um, <clears throat> but <clears throat> um, my body had other plans for me, mainly just to stay in bed. But on the January 19th, I will be hosting a live bingo event here. We'll have some fun bingo um, prizes, free, free product from the new catalog. Um, <clears throat> and I have some space left. I'm, about, I'm a little over halfway sold. So um, if you are interested in that, go to thepladpoodle.com. And under events, you'll find stamp and bingo live and i'll also put a a link here below the video in the description um just to make it easier for you you can just click on that and see the information for that so if you're local in kansas city we would love to have you join us the deadline to join that is the seventh so um that would be saturday <laughs> um so i can get the prizes and the products um ordered in time for the event um, like I said, thank you for joining me. I will be back Monday for Make It Monday at 2 p.m. Central Time right here on my YouTube channel again. And I do appreciate you joining me. Um, please hit the subscribe button and then you won't miss any of my content. So um, you all have a great afternoon and happy stamping. <laughs>